come back. The Washington State Championship that I've been talking about forever is over. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it went really well. Um, but I got a new gun to show you. I shot it at the Washington State Championship uh, in CCP division. Um, it did not go very well for me. I didn't shoot a great match, but it was a ton of fun. I had a bunch of other stuff to do, but this is it. This is the SIG P320 Compact with the Icarus frame, and the slide is ported from Shalo Tech. So uh, it's a really sweet shooter. Let's uh, look at a few more stages, and we'll come back with the... Uh, Take a look at, at the gun over the box, uh, and then we'll uh, do the pros and cons at the end. Here we are sort of looking over what I need to do for the, uh, you know, tabletop over look at it. Um, this is always the hardest part for me to do because I don't have a ton of room on my messy desk. Um, and as you can tell from earlier, there's a ton of stuff. This room is a mess. But anyway, uh, here's the scale. Gun comes in at 30.4, 30.3 ounces um, with the TLR7. I, I it's back there somewhere, but I imagine that adds two or three ounces. So we're looking at about 32 to 33 ounces, um, which is well under the 38 ounce weight limit for CCP. Uh, as far as fitting in the box, it fits in the box relatively easily without too much, uh, you know, there's plenty of room for, uh, you know, the width and the length. Uh, you got about maybe a quarter inch left on there. I think the the intention for CCP is that you can, you know, shoot a, a four and a quarter inch gun, but this being comped only has about three, 3.1 inch barrel on it. Um, so yeah, that's the gun. As you can see, everything fits, no issues there. I did want to mention this guy. This is the, uh, the work from Brent over at River's Edge Arms. I don't know how well you can see that, but, uh, this is the, the match director's trophy that they gave me. It's got my name on it, um, and, but the engraving, Brent did all the engraving and it is just phenomenal. Um, does it all with lasers, he's a wizard at it. So if you uh, are a match director and you want some awesome awards, as you can see, this is heavy. It's hard for me even to hold it up, but oh, on the other side, <laughs> this is my favorite part. So the, the match theme was kind of uh, like Thor. And so it says, whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy shall be match director the uh the, the division champion awards it said shall be champion um which i thought was pretty cool and kind of nerdy which i'm totally into so let's look at a few more stages um and we'll come back uh with a few pros and cons yeah. Right, so those are the stages it was a good I mean I made most of the stages so of course I think it's a good match um, but it was a lot of fun it was uh, it was good to be out there with everybody uh, being the match director you kind of get the opportunity like I have to talk to everybody and see everybody uh, and had a lot of good feedback um, about the match and how we handed out prizes so rather than doing a, a raffle on Sunday or Saturday night we just 
uh, all the prizes that were given from our, our sponsors. We had a lot of uh, generous sponsors. Um, we just went down the list and randomized it uh, according to IDPA rules. The, the prizes are given at random. Um, randomized the list and handed out whatever was on the list compared to the list of names. Um, it made it really easy. You check in, you get your, if you bought a jersey, you get your jersey, you get your, your ticket because we did raffle off the guns separately. Um, but yeah, that made the, the, it made it flow a little easier. I know there was some, um, I don't know, there were some chapped uh, or hurt feelings about uh, the guns not being drawn on Saturday. They were drawn on Sunday at the award ceremony, but that was intentional on my part because sometimes the uh, the crew that only shoots Saturday, like they don't hang out. Um, and then anybody who shoots, you know, half the, half the match that shot Sunday just ends up tearing down the whole thing by themselves. So I was trying to encourage people to come to the award ceremony. We had a good turnout um, for the match and for the award ceremony. So it all went well. I'm going to do it again next year um in 2024 so come out again um if you did and if you didn't come out and shoot the match it's a good one um but yeah getting into the uh the icarus precision 320 here i, I built two of these this is kind of the one i'm beta testing now um and it does have it's got the 3.6 inch barrel with the ported slide which is a new new thing in idpa we haven't done that before um I think there's a lot of her feelings about that too around that EPA. Oh, we're porting barrels now. What is this open division? But um, I figured I'd give it a try. So uh, getting into the pros, uh, the undercut on the trigger guard is phenomenal. Like it's it's super super. I feel like I can get my hand up higher than I can on a normal P320, um, and not just because of the undercut where my uh, firing hand goes, but also the under the double undercut up here. I feel like I can uh, just just get a little higher and defeat the the high bore access that you get on a P320. Um, another pro, it accepts all P320 parts and it fit most of my holsters. So I use these little gas pedals, and those are always a problem when you're making holsters or when you're uh, you know adding that to your gun for a holster that wasn't designed for it. I have several that just work for it, and then several that don't. Um, that just is what it is. Uh, I think that that I'd rather have uh, a holster that fits and uses that than to take that off and not worry about it. So, um, Rain City uh, holster, Rain City Tactical in Kent, Washington. They can make them for you. They made them for me. Um, it's got a slightly thinner profile. So uh, before I was shooting these, this frame I was shooting the. I took that Legion and made a video of it. Go check that out. Um, the chopped Legion grip where I you know, chop the the dust cover and the uh, the grip down to be this size, but and that was a little thicker. But it and generally I like a little bit thicker grip, but this doesn't seem to bother me. It kind of feels a little bit bigger than a 365, but a little bit smaller than a 320. It's kind of in the middle. It's it's its own thing. But um, with a double undercut, uh, I'm not feeling like I'm losing any grip on it. So with you, with thinner guns, I usually feel like I'm losing something. Like I have the, it has the ability to move around in my hand, but I don't feel that with this. So that's good. Uh, the trigger is as good as you can get in the P320. Um, I was thinking about trying another another trigger set and spending another four hundred dollars on a on a different P320 trigger. Um, but I think I'm done chasing like the best trigger that I can do. I'm just gonna let it. Let it go and let, let this be what it is. This one with this slide uh, and uh, slide guts and everything, you know, you put different ones together. It's got a really crisp trigger. Some of them don't. So this does have the gray guns internals and the armory craft. Um, I don't know if I remember if it's a half pound, but it's a little bit heavier return spring. So you get a little bit, uh, a little bit more of a forceful pushback with the uh, reset. It's just not as as mushy as some of the other ones are. So uh, this was one was big for me and I, I wish it would have worked, but it didn't work. Um, the magazines for a while I had, I took the Legion base plates off the 17 round mags and put them on the 15 round mags. Uh, and I really liked how it felt drawing the, the magazine out of the holster. However, I thought, so I bought a, a set of low profile sites thinking like, oh, maybe this will be just enough to get it in the box, but you can't. It's just too tall. There might be sites out there that you can do it, but I'm I'm probably done spending money to try and 
you know, have the, the magazine that I want. So right now, that's what I got. The stock base plate, it just is what it is. Um, this is probably the most significant pro, but it's also kind of a con. So um, I was running the 13 pound recoil spring. I run the Armory Craft um, guide rod recoil spring. It's kind of like a 1911, like four and a quarter setup. Um, running the 13 pound spring and it would not cycle every time with the with my 105 power factor ammo and the port it was like 95 percent as you saw in the videos there was a few stove pipes so since that match i've put in the 11 pound spring and it's running it every time however it's like i i can put in i can put the the zev slide the other uh combination of this without the ported slide onto this frame and it's it hits right where i'm aiming there's something about this combination and i haven't put it through like you know a whole day of of shooting to figure it out just a few matches but there's always a flyer there's always one like hmm like i called two good shots on that and one is you know outside in the into the down one or into the charlie or whatever um and so i'm not sure what's up with that so maybe i just need to run it more and figure it out or maybe i just suck and i'm going you know my brain's going faster than my you know shooting hand is i don't know but it seems to only happen with this setup so more to follow on that i get i, I guess uh cons um uh, this is expensive yeah that that's probably the the, the most i'm trying to think of the most i don't have a ton of cons here I'm trying to think of the most um you know impactful you know, negative aspect of this and probably you know, I bought two of these um, I got one of them on sale um, one of them from a buddy I actually have three of them because I'm giving one back to my buddy um, to Nick Brody you guys know Nick um, but uh, yeah these were I mean together this is like 600 bucks in, in just the the metal frames not the, the guts not the anything the slide the barrel um, and getting this slide you know they're not not very many companies not many <laughs> Very many companies are making these. So this took, I had to wait like, you know, nine, 10 weeks to get that after ordering it. Um, and at the time I ordered it and thought, this will be cool to have in gray. And then when I got here, I was like, why did I order that in gray? I don't know. I don't know why I do things sometimes. Um, the other con is that it is the X compact. It is not the compact frame. It doesn't change much. You just get a little bit less dust cover up front if you're going to run the four inch barrel. Um, but you know, you're losing a little bit of weight, I guess. I don't know how much weight would be on the end of, you know, an inch of dust cover, but a little bit, I suppose. Um, I am running the TLR7 on these. I'm going to try out a TLR7A, see if it'll fit the same holster. I've read that they fit the same holster, so more to follow on that. But other than that, guys, this is a sweet little shooter. Um, if you want to build something like this, um, it's expensive, but it's a good time. Um, the recoil is just, I don't know if I talked about that in the pros, the recoil is just nothing. I mean, it's, it's like shooting a 22. So yeah. All right. That's about it. Uh, next big thing for me is, uh, IDPA world championship down in, I don't know, good. <laughs> God awful Alabama or something like that, but, but I'll be there. Um, if, uh, if you have the time in the mean, check out our website, www.dz214.com where you can donate to all the veterans charities that we support and we would really appreciate that see you in the next one